Hey guys, and welcome to the beginning of a new series. Right now I am on break, so I decided to go on a little trip. I am in a place called Izu. It's a little peninsula just south of Tokyo. It is only like, I think it took me like maybe two hours to get here. It's a pretty short Shinkansen ride. It's beautiful, beautiful coastline. There's a lot to do here, but it is a little bit underrated. There is what I think is a main reason for that, which I'm about to explain because it is what I am currently struggling with. While it is fairly easy to get to, it is still a rather undeveloped area. So there aren't any like taxi apps, anything like that. There isn't like a main train system really that runs around the peninsula. You mainly get around by buses, which is fine. But the problem is, is you have to get to the bus stops. And there is a bus that can get me there. However, it only leaves like once every hour and I'm already kind of like running on low time. So right now I'm trying to at least walk to a konbini because there isn't one every 10 feet here, like in Tokyo, and get a snack and maybe see if I can find a taxi. I don't know. I can already tell you right now that this is going to be the most stressful part about my trip is getting to and from my accommodation. I would literally give anything to be allowed to drive here in Japan. There are specific US states that actually are allowed to like skip the driving test and get like the international license, do all that, whatever. But unfortunately, California is not one of them. It's just irritating because there are so many places I would love to explore and that I look into and I realize that they are impractical and nearly impossible if you don't have a car. specifically in Ito, which is on the east, west, east, east, east side of the Izu Peninsula. Honestly, I'm probably gonna say this about all of Izu, but it reminds me a lot of home. It reminds me a lot of California, the hills and the coastline, and just like the overall vibe, because it's not, you know, like a city, obviously, or anything. It's just a bunch of kind of houses and resorts and condos just sprawled out in these hills. It reminds me a lot of home. Welcome back GoPro, it's been a minute. Figured this was the perfect opportunity to rip him back out. Honestly, it's pretty magical because there's like no one here. I've passed like one guy. Cause this is normally like a super duper popular hike, I feel like, so I'm quite lucky. taking some footage and one of those murder hornets came near me and boy, the way I ran. <laughs> Hopefully when I'm at the main spots, like the suspension bridge, I get a little bit of a peak of sun. But honestly, I like the way 
some cliff sides look when it's cloudy. Like this is all volcanic rock, so I think it looks really pretty when it's a little bit gloomy, but it'd still be nice to get some variety, you know. Yes, yes. You're so dramatic. Okay, 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 okay. So, oh my gosh, I was touched by an angel. So I had to transfer buses um, and I got off the first bus and I, it, like the, the transfer I figured was just to the other side of the street because I had to go like the opposite direction. So I get off the bus and I cross the street and I'm standing at this bus stop and I'm looking on my maps and it says I am in the right spot, all right? it My dot, my blue dot was where I am standing and there was a bus stop, but I was reading the little like uh, placard thingy and my bus number wasn't on it. And I was kind of like, well, that's fishy, but I didn't have a lot of time to really figure it out or think about it because the bus, like I only had like two minutes. So I see this bus coming and I'm like, ah, there's my bus. I'm on the right, like I'm on the right side. And it stops about like, I would say 40 yards away from me <laughs> on the other side of a stoplight. And I was like, no, no. Is that where I was supposed to be? Spoiler alert, yes, that was where I was supposed to be. Um, so I missed the bus and like I was explaining, like the buses here only run once every hour or so. And so the next bus wasn't gonna be here for another hour and I had bought food to bring back. Like I had went and bought groceries and I was just like, are you kidding me? And you could obviously see it on my face and the bus stop was right next to a parking lot of like a grocery store. So I did this exasperated sigh. I kind of went, mm -hmm. And like, obviously, if you saw me, you could tell I was annoyed. And some lady did. And this lady, she approaches me in her car. And she's like, Daishoba desu ka? Like, she asked me where I need to go. And I was like, oh, Mount Omuro, like nearby. And um, she was like, oh, come on, let's go. And 
oh my gosh, she was an angel. So I just showed her the address and she took me here. And I mean, like, it was only like 10 minutes or so away from where the bus stop was, but it's just like, Oh, she was such an angel. She was so cute. She gave me mochi. She gave me omiyage. She was so cute. But oh my gosh, I got so lucky because a lot of my food, I feel like just would have gone bad. Juzo would have been by himself for another hour. I already felt guilty. Um, and so, yeah, that lady was a godsend. She was an angel. I do not suggest getting in strangers' cars, but... Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You just slept the whole time. You just slept the whole time. Show you guys the place I'm staying at because it's really nice. It's really cute. Um, but I kind of want to do it when there's better lighting. It's getting a little dark outside now. So I'll show you guys in the days to come. But Juzo really likes it. I mean, it's like a dog paradise. It has this huge yard. Um, there's a kid set over here. There's like one of those big outdoor tents. Um, this really nice patio. And this area that I'm sitting in is like this, I don't know what you call it. It's not outside, but it's all glass. And there's just like chairs. And then this is like the living room. It's the bedroom, the bathroom. It's really nice. It's not necessarily super duper large, but for the size that it is, like they work with it. It's really cute. But yeah, so tomorrow I'm planning on going to the west side of the peninsula it's the farthest place away that i'm planning to go i'm really playing hopscotch with the weather here um i'm trying to get the top things i want to do on days it's not going to rain and the west side does have slightly different um weather than this side so like tomorrow is supposed to be fairly decent like partly cloudy over there but it's supposed to rain here and then it's supposed to rain there like it, it just, it's changing so I might I'm playing hopscotch with the weather but I really hope you guys like this video I think I got some good footage it was a beautiful place and it's just a precursor for what's to come so thank you guys for watching give this video a like if you feel so inclined give me some comments give me anything I don't care I love making these videos I love the editing process I love all of it and I would love to be able to do this as like a job or even just make a tiny bit of money off of it so I can travel more oh, I love that and of course any engagement any anything helps with helping me grow my channel grow my brand that sounds so pretentious but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys tomorrow